every service branch, under the Department of Defense, is developing hypersonics weapons, to keep up with the accelerating pace of the technology's adoption, by governments such as Russia and China. A U.S. Chamber of Commerce report, has found that the federal government, uses 9,858 unique forms, and handles more than 106 billion forms, on an annual basis to process government services requests. Bonnie Jenkins, Under Secretary of State for Arms Control and International Security, has announced the members of an advisory board to provide advice on matters related to arms control, critical infrastructure, cybersecurity, and national security. The Heritage Foundation's 2023 Index of U.S. Military Strength has assessed the global operating environment as favorable to U.S. interests, which means that the country can project military power to defend its vital interests. Uninet announced that the company has released the 2022 Gage Report, detailing the survey results regarding the latest business challenges facing the government contracting industry today. GovCon expert Rich Wilkinson quoted, The General Services Administration and the Defense Acquisition University have collaborated to develop an acquisition regulation comparator that could enable acquisition.gov users to compare up to three acquisition regulations by providing them side-by-side -side view of multiple regulations. Hope Damphouse has been appointed the new Vice President of Strategic Operations with Ball Aerospace, effective immediately. President David Kaufman quoted, The demand for cybersecurity professionals grew 2.4 times faster in the last 12 months than the overall rate across the national economy, according to data from CyberSeek. Join GovKinWire's events Crypto Agility and Quantum Cybersecurity Threats, Understanding PQC and QKD webinar on October 31, 2022. Visit govc on wire.com events. The U.S. Army Program Executive Office Enterprise Information Systems is increasingly adopting agile methodologies to align with the service branch's vision. The Air Force Research Laboratory's small satellite is carrying out extended operations after completing its mission to assess the survivability and performance of commercial off-the-shelf technologies.